night long. BYU begins serving. We're underway. The last spot in the regional, or excuse me, in the national semifinals up for grabs. And the best blocking team in the nation shows you why after the first rally. Whitney Young, the middle blocker in the front row. You see her number 16 in blue and Jennifer Hampson behind. Two of the best blockers in the country. Tia Welling serving for BYU. did a fantastic job last night battling the big block of Washington, making some big swings. That's what Nebraska does well. They dig the ball well, and they've got lots of weapons. Their middle was awesome last night. There you see Amber Rolfson from the right side. Annika Albrecht back to serve. She had some troubles last night. Five service errors trying to clean that up tonight. Hanson is stuck right in the middle by Katie Rolfson. That ball was set a little bit out inside, excuse me, for Jennifer Hanson in the Nebraska ball. Moved in and cut off that angle. Nebraska leads 3-1 to one early here in the opening set. That is good. As they go into the middle once again, Whitney Young with her second kill. Two blockers in in front of her finds the open court. And now it is Brigham Young's turn to get the block, specifically Amy Boswell, who's the number two blocker in the nation. Cecilia Hall, number nine in white. All last night, she did not make one hitting error. Makes her first hitting error of the night. Good dig by Arantes. And that block goes out of bounds. Point to Nebraska. I'm telling you, Nebraska must practice that. Put a big block up. Tool the hands, tool the hands, tool the hands, because they did it all night long, and they've already done it a few times tonight. Justine Wong Arantes, the libero from Cypress, California, back to serve at 13 digs last night. Paul Miller with the set back to Rolfson. Rolfson puts it down. That's Katie Rolfson, her sister Amber is number five. The twins from the state of Nebraska, sophomores, and Nebraska leads five to three. Margarantes, a standout beach player when she was a, a youngster. When? She's still a youngster. <laughs> I guess I should say before college. You're right. Everybody's a youngster to us out here, Holly. Good defense by the Huskers. And the Nebraska block is there. Haggerty was in the middle, and on her right was Rolfson. Nebraska strong start at the net. Some disciplined block moves. That time, Amber Rolfson. Ralston way over the net for Nebraska. Six to three, Huskers in front. Nebraska the number 14 seed in the NCAA tournament, taking out Washington, the number three seed last night. And Boswell again from the middle. Something we haven't talked about is the choice of center for BYU. All season long, it's been Camry Willardson, but tonight, Alohi Robbins-Hardy, the freshman from Hawaii, gets the start for BYU. Jennifer Hampson with that sole in play and a point for Nebraska as Amber Rolson tools the block. Hampson is a six rotation player and she's six and seven, an All-American in basketball and volleyball. She used up her basketball eligibility last year, uh, was redshirted a year in volleyball and so has that extra year of eligibility to play volleyball this year. Boswell again. Alohi Robbins Hardy, the set. Beautiful run in that middle for BYU. That's so important. Not just going to Hampson every time, using everybody. Middles were very effective for BYU. Nobles from Longmont, Colorado, back to serve. For the middle 
Bills have been the key for BYU so far, and that's good news because they had to rely strictly on Hampson last night. Watch Alexa Gray get her feet way inside to this ball. Aggressive swing for the BYU kill. Off the slide. That serve goes out. Service error for BYU. Side out Nebraska. We talked about Jennifer Hampson being a two-sport athlete. Right now, Olohi Robbins-Hardy is competing for the basketball team and the volleyball team during the volleyball season. She's the setter for BYU. There she is. Puts it up. Good dig. And uh, some good hustle for BYU. As you see going into the stands of Sierra Parker. She comes up smiling, but that was dangerous. Parker from Santa Clara, Utah, showing some good effort. Sierra Parker, hopefully she hit the soft part of that seat. Good hustle. Second best blocker in the nation from Aloha, Oregon. And a successful kill this time by Fiend. She's got a couple of kills from that left side. The junior from Bakersfield, California. Nebraska makes a living off using the big block. High hands. They did this so often to Washington last night. And to serve Alexa Etheridge. Came in to serve last night as well. Speed Hampson keeps it alive. And Fiend gets into the block. Two of the shorter players on the front line getting that block. Well, Lohi Robbins Hardy is 6'2. She's a bigger block than Camry Willardson, and one of the reasons why she's in there for BYU. She's the other basketball player Holly spoke about. She's currently on the team. You know, it's interesting, Holly, I said shorter, but everybody looks short compared to 6'7 Hanson up there. So if you're 6'2 and you're around someone who's 6'7, you look short. <laughs> this is true. If we were standing down there, it'd be another story. That's right. Robin Hardy serving now for BYU off the slide. I think we should keep a new statistic in this match. How often Nebraska uses the block? I can count six already. I'm going to keep a box because it's amazing how many kills they get in that particular area. That was Paul who had that kill. Paul Miller serving for Nebraska, the only senior for the Huskers. The youngest team in program history. And yet here they are. They lost at the States to Texas last year in the regional final, but this year... Coming in with a very young squad. So they only have one senior, 11 underclassmen. But they are returning five starters plus a libero. So they were young last year, but they had Kelsey Robinson, the All-American outside hitter. He's now a star on Clutch Garage's U.S. national team. Hampson with the block and picking up the point for BYU is Sean Olmstead, the coach for BYU. What a job he's done. Just named the All Pacific South Region Coach of the Year, taking this team to the regionals the past three years. Just this fourth season. Point to BYU. And BYU leads here in the opening set. They have been chasing Nebraska for most of the set. Watch Tamber Nobles. This ball set a little low and inside, little soft touch right over the block drops. That is good. Point, Nebraska. That particular play they were very good at, running, attacking the right side of the net, going cross-court for Nebraska. Albrecht again back to serve. She actually leads the team in aces, which was surprising. She had so much trouble last night. Point, BYU. As picking it up from the left side is Nobles. We're seeing some offensive balance right now from the BYU team, and I think that's how they want to start this match, knowing they can always go to Jennifer Hampson 
when they need to. Paul Miller setting Rolson. And a successful kill by Amber Rolson, number five. Between number five and number six right there, 27 kills in the victory against Washington last night. Amber had 13, Katie had 14. Katie also had a double-double with 16 digs. Well, there's been very little Nebraska's been able to do to stop Boswell when she gets the set. Well, Alohi Robbins Hardy is getting Boswell a nice high set. The connection is good. Last night she was being set a little bit low. That's a good high set for her. She only had six kills that entire match last night. Katie Rolfson tooling the block. Tooling the ball all the way across the court for another Nebraska point. Sydney Townsend, one of the freshmen from Lincoln, Nebraska, hometown girl serving. Point BYU. Good isolation set. Only one blocker in front of Tamber Nobles on that last swing for BYU. And only one spot left in the national semifinals. BYU and Nebraska trying to claim it. Back to serve is Nobles. Seven blocks, seven kills, seven ticks last night. A sneaky shot there by Paul Miller, who is a very aggressive-minded setter. She had nine kills, zero errors on 14 swings last night. She is an offensive weapon. I like that smart choice by her offensively. Oh. Wilson with the serve just sneaks it over. That makes it a dangerous serve. Juan keeps it in play. Fiend. aggressively goes after that ball. Jennifer Hampson was right there, kind of making a move to bump it over, but Amy Boswell throws it to the corner for BYU. Four kills for Boswell and only five swings, no errors. And too much power from Fiend. Side out Nebraska. And we're tied again. This time it's 16. Nebraska has been passing the ball extremely well. This time they're out of system, but the libero Right there, Justine Wongarante steps in and delivers a perfect set that's so important. She keeps the team in a dangerous offensive position when she can set. Whitney Young shows her athleticism. That ball pushed a little wide on her. She throws it down with her left hand. BYU with a one-point advantage. Lovie Robbins Hardy back to serve. 15 digs, 37 assists last night. And a hitting error. No. It was out of bounds. As that block went out of bounds just wide in front of the up judge. Here it is. Barely cleared the net, but got Whitney Young. Little piece of her elbow. Tied at 17. Opening set. Winner will meet Texas in Thursday's first national semifinal. Good ball by Alexa Gray. She likes to swing and likes to swing hard, but that's a smart shot right over the block. Gray, that's her third kill. No errors, seven swings. opening found by Rawson, but good D by the Cougars. Now that set just got a little too far out in front of Young, and the Huskers make good on it. It's interesting. I think BYU has gone too much away from Jennifer Hampson. Really want to get her established while you're spreading the offense, but Nebraska is blocking the ball very well. Hampson has zero kills. There's her first. 
Again, Hanson last night was the story for BYU. She had 30 kills, 10 digs, 6 blocks. 63 swings. Very quiet so far in this opening set, but yet BYU's in front. <laughs> Off the antenna, point to BYU. And BYU now with a two-point advantage. John Cook taking a timeout over on the Nebraska sideline. As BYU trying to continue this weekend of upsets in Seattle. It's good 200. And service ace. Service ace delivered by Sierra Parker. The first one of the night. Time leader in digs at BYU, but obviously an excellent server as well. And Hanson is getting warmed up. Biggest lead of the set now by the Cougars. And John Cook taking another timeout on the Husker sideline. Smart timeout. You do not want this first set to get away from you and let the BYU run away with it. Here's Hampson's last kill. It is just her second of the night, but they've come recently. High contact using the block. Well, these two teams fighting for the right to go to Oklahoma City. And we know how exciting those national semifinals can be. Both Inkia Jonaku from Stanford is from Oklahoma. And so is Micah Hancock, the setter for Penn State. So those two big-time players going home. semifinals begin this Thursday. The first national semifinal on ESPN2 at 7 Eastern will feature the Texas Longhorns against either Nebraska or BYU. And then at 9.30 Eastern, traditional powerhouses Stanford and Penn State on ESPN2. It's a real blue blood feeling uh, national semifinal here. I mean, we got some volleyball royalty already in there. Who's going to crash the party if Nebraska makes it? It continues the theme. If BYU... And maybe they're the Cinderella of that group. Could be. Parker ready to serve. She's already delivered one ace. BYU three points from taking the opening set. It's got to go over. Parker takes it. Rawson with a hammer. Side out Nebraska. Nebraska does not let the ball drop. They're relentless defensively and then ending the rally with the Katie Rolfson swing. Only one blocker in front of her. She cranks it with some power cross court. Four kills for Rolfson. Wangarante's back to serve. So in that situation, the libero should have been the one going up to take that? Yes, but she was across the court, so it could be a middle blocker. They have a set play for that. If the libero can't get there, the middle blocker will usually step in and transition set. Well, as we just discussed, the NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship coverage continues with the national semifinals this Thursday, December 18th at 7 Eastern on ESPN2. And for more information on the NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship, visit NCAA.com. Your home for all 89 NCAA championships. I was on that site today trying to get some facts and figures from our regional finals that have taken place all before this one. This is the nightcap, the last one, the last piece of the national semifinals to be set. BYU right now hitting 344, a very efficient hitting average. Nebraska only 200. 
is uh, interesting. Nebraska, though, has sort of made a habit of winning matches when they're out hit this year. So even when they're out hit, they're still able to win more often than not over the last couple of years. Under John Cook, they've never lost a match when they've hit 300 or better. John Cook, of course, uh, one of the best coaches in the country. Uh, so John has taken this program to national championships. And very much a spokesperson for the sport of volleyball and always voicing a strong opinion and trying to do a lot to make this sport better. Juan Arante's serve is too strong. Side out BYU, and that is a costly service error because BYU is now two points from the set. Service ace. Second service ace for BYU. Sarah Parker had one earlier. Jennifer Hampson at six foot seven has high flat serve. Ball dances. Set point BYU. Wilson keeps the Huskers alive. That was Katie Rawson getting that kill, tooling the block. And her twin sister, Amber, rotates back to serve now. Well, we got a nice tidbit from Brenda Van Lingen. We'll tell you later. Set point remains. Determined to slip their feet in that Cinderella slipper tonight. 